imagine being able to add or remove anything from your photo in just seconds sound impossible right well not anymore adobe has introduced a revolutionary feature in photoshop called generative fill this feature uses ai to create realistic objects backgrounds and edits your photo you can extend your images remove unwanted elements change outfits and create new images from scratch now let's dive right into the incredible world of generative fill so in this first example, let's say you want to add outfits to this photo. So all you have to do is to select this lesser tool and make selection around this area. Click on generative fill and type your prompt. Let's type in suit for men. And here is the result. It is absolutely mind blowing. Moving on to the next example. Let's say you want to make the men muscular. So make selection around this area. Click on generative fill and add your prompt. Let's type in male bodybuilder. Hit generate and it will do its work. In this example, let's say you want to remove the girl from the photo. Now you might be thinking that is very hard and time consuming process. But with the help of generative fill, you can do it in few seconds. All you need to do is to make rough selection around the girl and click on generate button and it will do its job. Moving on to the next image. Generative fill doesn't stop at removing objects. It can also seamlessly replace them. Let me show you how. Imagine you want to replace the dog in the photo, but the thoughts seem daunting because of the woman's interact hair and shirt. Will generative fill take care of all of the messy work? It can even create a pillow that matches the style of the couch. It's like magic. Let's focus on the power of generative fill to add objects seamlessly. In this case, we will enhance the photo by incorporating a necklace. Use the laser tool once again to define the desired shape and placement of the necklace. Activate generative fill, type necklace and hit generate. Prepare to be amazed by how AI take into account lighting and create a natural looking addition. You can also add items to your photos easily. Let's say you want to add a car to this scene. All you need to do is to select an area where you want to add the car and then just type the prompt and Photoshop generative fill will do its work. Generative fill goes beyond just removing and replacing objects. It allows you to extend your images creatively. Have you ever taken a photo vertically instead of horizontally and wish you could include more of the surrounding without cropping out the important parts? Well, with generative fill, you can generate the surrounding area effortlessly. By selecting the crop tool and extend the image, you can quickly fill the missing area with stunning results. It's a game changer for your composition needs. Now this scene is looking awesome. So let's make it more beautiful by adding some objects. First, let me select this area, click on generative fill and type in water lake and Photoshop generative fill will do its work. Now select these mountains and let's type in snow mountains. And these are the results. All right, let me show you another stunning example. Let's say you want to add reflection in this photo. Let's select this bottom area Type your prompt reflective weight ground. Hit generate. It will create realistic results. Reflection on the women, the cave and the surrounding building are so lifelike. And the best part, you get multiple variations of these realistic reflections. It's absolutely mind-blowing how you can achieve all of this with just few simple clicks. Now let's add here to this photo. So select this area, click on generative fill and type your prompt. Let's type in male hair and here are the results. Another best thing about generative fill is you can create new images from scratch. So I have this empty document and I wanna create a new image. Let's select this bottom area and add your prompt. I wanna select this option. Now for the sky, let's select the area and type the prompt. I think this option is looking good. You can also add more item by just selecting the area and type your prompt. By the way, if you want to learn how to transform this photo into something like this, you can watch this tutorial. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Also ring the bell icon so you will get notified whenever I post a new video just like this one. I'll be catch you in my next video. Till then, peace.